Hey what's up guys, it's Slime103 here and today we're in the realm of Hammer World Editor slash SDK which stands for Software Developer Kit and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the first map that I ever created and the sole purpose of this map was for me to familiarize myself with the program, you know, learn all the basics learn how to do the CSGO map creator thing you know also um, if you notice the quality is uh, not as good as usual OBS is being a pain to use who knew a Core i7 hyper threaded could not a quad core by the way could not load OBS at 60 frames per second whatever you know hashtag life of a youtuber so let's get into it the purpose of this video is uh, you know, to hopefully inspire you guys to get more CSGO hide and seek map creators but uh, right here we have our uh, meme box or as I like to call it the meme room this is my first ever creation and it is literally just a box yes not very exciting um, at all but you know it is what it is the meme room has been born guys so if you don't know how uh, how CSGO maps are made it's actually really simple it's not very extraordinary or anything like that oh I just realized this texture's off whatever um, as I was saying basically the way a map is made it's made by brushes props and models um, and uh, lights and uh, some uh, what else is there some displacement basically it's just brushes and props and models to be honest and uh, yeah so there's literally just walls oops just walls um, those are your brushes and then we have props and models these are uh, these objects and then I have uh, done some advanced technique right here this is called a uh, slant this is called a slant yeah and it's literally a block but it has a slant on it so extremely advanced guys you should be uh, so proud of me over here we have a, a chicken but it looks like a weird little untextured thing from minecraft alpha <laughs> and uh... so we got a toaster you know? it looks good and uh, of course you got to texture everything make it all look pretty we got a uh, marvin down here looking good marvin and uh... you gotta add lights to make sure you can see or if you don't want them to see then don't add lights this is a buy zone by the way that's what this trigger is and then we have cube maps these add reflections to your map and uh, of course we have uh, spawn points for your terrorists and your counter terrorists now this map has two secrets I wonder where they could be and uh, we have an e-room right here and uh, this is our skybox and this is uh, this is the actual skybox with our sky camera that's what this little thing is and we have our you know these are what's gonna generate as the outside of the map and uh, this is Steve he's also looking fine today and of course it wouldn't be my map without a signature lamp and uh, it's got a sun in it which is the sun of the entire world and I've got a light so you can see you know, pretty simple it's, it's not amazing this is literally just two blocks it took me like 20 seconds to do this it took me about four hours to make this box though <laughs> this is my first creation creation after all so uh, it's obviously I've gotten better I was just uh, a beginner at that point I still pretty much am Yo HD helped me a lot with making the e-room and uh, yeah so let's uh, 
Let's uh, show you guys what it looks like. Press Shift Z, it makes it small or big. And then uh, over here we got our selector tools. Uh, or this is the selector tool. We got our block tool. I got our texture tool. And uh, we got uh, actually I don't know what these tools are still. Uh, and we got our slant tool. And then some advanced. Um, geometry tools and a, a prop tool some more stuff that I haven't needed to use yet yeah so over here we have our what is this I believe this is the x-axis this is our y-axis our frontal view this is our side view and then this is our z-axis this is a top-down view and uh, as you can see, it's exactly what we're seeing right here in this quadrant. And uh, what you do affects, what you do in each of these affects the, its placement in the world. So if we want to create a box, we can draw it in any one of these. And uh, let's draw a box right here. Wait, that's the correct texture. And uh, as you can see, it looks like this from the top-down view. Obviously, from the frontal view, it's a little bit big. So let's make it more box-like. And uh, from the side view, we get another perspective. And if you want even better view, you can make it big like this. And once you have it how you like it, you just press Enter. You know, pretty simple. Here we go. Pills here. We've got pills. Nice. So uh, you switch over to the selector tool. Now you can move it all around and uh, move it all in three dimensions, etc. Pretty simple. You want to make it slanty. You just make it slanty, and then boom. You know, it's it's not anything super extraordinary. It is just building Legos, like literally. You just you just draw blocks and you put them next to each other, and boom, you have a map. And then you like populate it with uh, some props, some teleports, some lights, some reflecty orbs, cube maps. You get a skybox, and that's that's it. You got a you got a CS:GO map right there. You just did all the work. Now, for bigger maps, it's obviously going to take a, a longer amount of time. But uh, essentially, um, it, it's pretty pretty easy, and it's just it's just time consuming. That's really it. Um, but I might post some tutorials on this. I don't really know yet, because a lot of the tutorials are outdated. But uh, there are some still some pretty useful ones out there. And of course, I'm making my map, which should be released pretty soon. Here, all I really have to do is fix some errors um, and then add secrets but otherwise it's looking pretty good so uh... let's uh, load this map up in game alrighty guys we are now in game on the map looking uh... pretty good you know this is this is not aligned this is super vexing Anyways, as you can see, it, uh, it just looks like a regular CSGO map, you know? And, uh, by the way, mm, breakable windows, fancy. And, uh, got a chair that moves when you hit it. There we go. And, uh, got our chicken. Goodbye, chicken. Toaster, you know, very nice. Boom, hitty on the door. And uh, we got our secret. Oh my God! Did you even did you even notice that? Damn, that's a that's a that's a fine lamp right there. Anyways, you, you can uh, go through our secret area right here, and uh, go up this ladder. You can even close the door. And uh, you know we're we're on the roof now. And uh, here's our here's our door. It opens the wrong way, unfortunately. And uh, our ear. 
Boom. Nice. Now, now we're in the uh, we're in the skybox. No, pretty simple. And if you want to go back, just go right into the lamp, and it uh teleports you right back here. So yeah, it uh like I said, it's not very uh, difficult to create a CS:GO map. To create a good CS:GO map, it's gonna take a little bit more time than this. Um, and obviously, all you really gotta do is get used to the program, you know? Once you um, learn all the shortcuts on the keyboard and all that sort of stuff, you can do this stuff really quickly. Yoba HD does stuff in about 30 seconds, and it takes me like 15 minutes. But, uh, that's just how it goes. Yep, still, still a beginner, but, hey, I made a meme room. What more could anyone ask for? So, uh, yeah, this is basically what happens when you have nothing planned for the uh, next Seek episode. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more Hide and Seek content. Maybe some tutorials on uh, Hammer? I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and peace.